Hey Capricorns and welcome. My name is Inez and today I'm doing your mid-month love reading. Please keep in mind that these are general love readings so I cannot or will not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply then what are you going to do? That's right. You're going to let it fly. If it does apply then I would love to read your comments down below. Also, if you would like to get a personal reading, you could contact me at intimategoddesstarot at gmail.com. Okay, now with that being said, let's get your reading started. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from now through the ending of February 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from now through the ending of February 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from now to the ending of February 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from now to the ending of February 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from now to the ending of February 2020. Capricorns. Oh, and by the way, happy Valentine's Day to those of you guys that are now celebrating Valentine's Day. And have yourself a Valentine's boo. Mm, let's see. Let's, let me do this. Please give me... Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from now to the ending of February 2020. Please tell me about Valentine. <laughs> I said, please tell me about Valentine's Day. Please tell me about Capricorns from now to the ending of February 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from now to the ending of February 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from now to the ending of February 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from now to the ending of February 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from now to the ending of February 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from now to the ending of February 2020. Okay, my hand is starting to hurt. Capricorn, talk to me now. Come on, talk to me. Please tell me about Capricorns in love from now to the ending of February 2020. You going back? Please tell me about Capricorns in love from now to the ending of February 2020. Capricorn, y'all. Please tell me about Capricorns in love from now to the ending of February 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in love from now to the ending of February 2020. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Let me see, we have here. So, Capricorns, we have the world and the Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Sun. We have the Five of Cups, the Judgment, and, and Hangman. Now, for a minute, I thought it was going to be someone new because of the Nine of Cups, the world new beginning. Somebody's coming in. They're feeling very passionate about you. They got that fire going. You know, they got that spark is going off. They're happy with you. But then we got the, but then there's somebody's here that's feeling miserable that wants a second chance with you. And, but they're in limbo right now, so there's nothing, so they're not doing anything about it because they're just in limbo. But, but yeah, it shows here that somebody new is coming in because we got the world, that's a new beginning. We got the Knight of Cups, that's somebody new coming in, bringing an offering. You got the Knight of Wands, feeling very passionate, being happy, but yet yeah, there's somebody here that's miserable, that wants a second chance with you. Let's find out, Capricorns. I mean, is this going to be one of those juicy readings as you guys know how to do? Hmm? Ooh, look in the bottom. We got the, the lovers. 
right when I cut the deck, we got the Lovers and the King of Swords. Good. Capricorn. You do one of them juicy readings, huh? You got somebody miserable, wrong, crying over you while you with somebody else. Mm, I know your number, Capricorns. I got your number. Let's find out. Please tell me about the world. Why is the world here? Please give me more information on the world. Why is the world here? Please tell me why is the world here. Please give me more information on the world. Why is the world here? Please give me more information on the world. Please give me more information on the world. Why is the world here? Please give me more information on the world. Please give me more information on the world. Why is the world here? Please give me more information on the world. Okay, so you guys, something came to an end here. Wherever there's an ending, there has to be a new beginning. And uh, you have the four swords, so you may not be speaking to this person anymore. Please give me more information on the world. Why the world here? Please give me more information on this world. Please give me more information on the world. Okay, somebody's feeling left out in the cold. We got the Five of Pentacles here. So something that came to an end. You guys are no longer speaking. Some of you guys may be talking. Some, some of you guys may not. And if you're communicating very little to none. And somebody's feeling left out in the cold. They're feeling abandoned by you. Or you could be feeling this way. Keep in mind that this can go vice versa. So it doesn't have to be you. I could easily be picking up on the other person's energy. So... If you need to flip it, by all means, go right ahead and flip it. And this also applies to men, not just to females, because we all have masculine and feminine energies within us. And I have seen some fem, some relationships where the female is more manly than the man. And when you look at that relationship, the, you could clearly see who's the bitch in that relationship. I have seen them. <laughs> so, and... But anyways, back to this. So this also applies to men. So something had came to an end. You guys are no longer communicating. Somebody here is feeling left down the cold. So keep in mind, in order for something new to start, something has to end. So now we have a Knight of Cups coming in. Because we have a new start here. Something had ended. But we got a Knight of, Knight of Cups. Please get more information on the Knight of Cups. Please get more information on this Knight of Cups. Please get more information on the Knight of Cups. Please get more information on the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Please get more information on the Knight of Cups. Why it didn't want to come out? Please get more information on the Knight of Cups. Please get more information on the Knight of Cups. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Please get more information on the Knight of Cups. Please get more information on the Knight of Cups. Okay, so this is, we have the chariot, so some of you guys may be dealing with a cancer, or some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius, Taurus, a Leo, or Scorpio, and we have the chariot, we have the three of cups, we have the two of wands, and we have the three of pentacles, so... My eye itches. So, this can be a three-party situation. Because we have three threes. So, it can be. But, um, for some of you guys, this may be a three-party situation. For some of you guys, it's not. Because not everybody's going to be in a three-party situation. So, this could be someone new coming in into your life. From what I'm, the way I'm feeling is somebody new is coming in. Into your life, you guys are moving forward, and you're going out having a good time. You know, you drinking, you getting wine, drinking, dancing. You know, they whining you and dining you. You're moving forward with them, and this person, they're willing to cooperate with you. They're meeting you halfway. Both you guys are meeting each other halfway. You buy. Both you guys want the same thing. You know, because you guys are working together. You guys are compromising, and this is someone new, and you're taking on a new path. 
this is a new path that you're taking with the two wands here. This is a new path that you're taking. You're going out. You're moving on. You're moving forward. You're having a good time with this person. Be, this is the Knight of Cups that's coming in. And they're moving forward with you and you guys going out, having a good time, drinking, partying, you know, being wine and dying. This is you. I mean, go ahead, Capricorn. But some of you guys, it may not be that. Some of you guys, it may be where you're the, you could be the side chick or the side dude. And you're going, with you with this person, you call, you, you know, you're compromising with them. You're like, yeah, I understand that you got somebody else on the side. I mean, you got somebody, you're already with somebody. So I'm, you know, I'm cool with that. You know, it's all right. I'm good. You know, we can still have fun together. It could be in that type of situation where you're going out with this person. You clearly know that this person is already in a relationship, but you're cool with it and you wanna, and you're down for it. Then hey, then so be it. But some of you guys, you guys are not in a three-party situation, and you guys are just going out having a good time with this person. You guys are, you know, you guys want the same things. You guys are working together. Let's find out about this Knight of Wands. Please get more information on the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Please get more information on the Knight of Wands. Please get more information on the Knight of Wands. Please get more information on the Knight of Wands. Please get more information on the Knight of Wands. Please get more information on the Knight of Wands. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Please get more information on the Knight of Wands. Please get more information on the Knight of Wands. This person feels very passionate about you, too. They sure do, girl. Whoever this person is, they feeling that, girl. Already? You guys already in love? Damn, Capricorn, you guys fall in love fast and easy. I know you guys were easy like that. I mean, I don't mean easy in that type of sense. I mean, could have been one of those love at first sight, because look. We have the two of cups. You feel that this person is your soulmate already. And this person we have with the eight of cup eight of pentacles here, this person is willing to put in the work and effort that it takes to make this work. Cause look, we also have the seven of pentacles. This person wants to invest in this relationship. They want to invest. They want to invest into this relationship. Two of cups. And this person feels very passionate about you, Capricorn. Look at this two of cups you guys see each other as soulmates they're willing to put in the work and effort that it takes to make the relationship work i mean this is great capricorn this is a really good reading and look at the bottom of the deck we have the ace of wands you guys feel very passionate about each other and you guys are feeling very passionate about each other so let's find out about this sun Please get more information on the sun because you guys know the sun is the happiest deck out of the card. And you can see the sun is beaming right on me. It's right on me. Beaming right on me. But anyways, back to you because I'm pretty sure you didn't come see me just to see the sun on me. Okay? But let's get back to your reading. Please get more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please get more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Is sun. Please get more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please give more information on the sun. Please give more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please give more information on the sun. Whoever this person is, they ain't trying to miss the opportunity with you. Please give more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please give more information on the sun. Oh, yeah. And this person is single. So, we have the Nine of Pentacles here. Whoever this person is, they're single. They're abundant. They're, they're abundant within their own right. And they're content being single. They don't need to be in a relationship. They're fine. They're financially stable. They don't need no, they don't need, uh, you know, captains to come save a hole. They don't need nobody to come save them because they're, they're just fine. They're content. They're financially stable. They could pay their own bills. They're happy. Like I said, this person is abundant within their own right. And they're, in the, they're strong, independent. They just got it going on. And they're single. 
You have the Ace of Pentacles, stability, a beginning. This is a new beginning. Uh, stability, whether it's in financial, finances, or in a relationship, you have new stability. And whoever this person is, they ain't trying to miss the opportunity here with you. With the Four of Cups here, they're not trying to miss this opportunity at all. And we got the Nine of Wands in reverse. So whoever this person is, they're opening up to you. They're not holding back. They're not holding, they're not, they're not guarded. This person is not guarded here. And that's what I'm trying to say. So whoever this person is, you guys could be dealing with a Virgo. You guys could be dealing with a Cancer, a Leo, a Sag, a uh, Sag Leo Aries, a Capricorn, uh, Capricorn Taurus Virgo, a uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius. You guys could be dealing with anybody here, anybody. Whoever this person is, they feel very passionate about you. They're willing to put in the work and effort that it takes to make this relationship work. They want to invest in it. They see you as a soulmate. Both of you guys see each other as soulmates. You guys love each other. And this person is single because you guys make each other happy. They're, you guys stay a single. You want stability. They're offering stability. They ain't trying to miss the opportunity with you. They're not trying to miss it. They're not trying to do that. And this person is not guarded. They're not coming to you guarded. They got their guard down and they're ready. You know, they want to open up to you. Let's find out about this Five of Cups. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. We have the Devil Reverse. We have the Nine of Swords, I mean the Knight, no, the Page of Swords in Reverse. And we have the Hair in Reverse. And then at the bottom of the deck, the world. Well, you released anything that was toxic. So for some of you guys, I need to clarify more. So but I'm going to tell you, for some of you guys, you guys could have been in a relationship or in a marriage and you had let this go. You released it because with the devil reverse, this is you releasing a lot of toxic energy, any negative self-talk that you be doing. I mean, just negative, negative. Anything that's negative, this is you releasing it. You could have been in a relationship or in a, in a committed relationship or in a marriage that was toxic. You're letting that go. Excuse me. You're letting that go. And you guys are not communicating. With the page of swords in reverse, you guys are not communicating here at all. You guys could be letting this person go. And I'm going to get some more on the devil. Please give me more information on the devil. Why is the devil here? Please give me more information on the devil. Why is the devil here? Please give me more information on the devil. Please give me more information on this devil. Please give me more information on the devil. Okay, so we have the four wands in reverse. So this was a home. This was a marriage. You guys, either you guys left this, you're leaving this behind. We have judgment. Somebody still wants a second chance here. Somebody wants a second chance. But, where how it was? And we have the nine of cups. So somebody could be overindulging here. Somebody could be drinking, having too much of a good time. Because somebody's not happy. You let it all, that you let, some, you could have let, somebody could have been drinking. You, you, whoever, whatever you was overindulging in, because this is the nine of cups. So whatever you was overindulging in, whether it was drinking, smoking, drugs, alcohol, it doesn't matter. Whatever you was overindulging in, you let it go. You let that go. And somebody here wants a second chance with you. That's why that person here is miserable because 
you ended it with this person you brought it to an end whether it was a committed relationship or marriage you brought it to an end this person is now miserable and they want a second chance with you but you already have someone new coming in because we have judgment here twice I'm trying to get the card so you guys can see it see we had judgment here twice so they want the second chance here but there's nothing going on here because we're in limbo. I'm going to clarify this uh, hangman card to see what it tells me. Please get more information on the hangman. 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 Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. She's in reverse, so she's not feeling confident at all. We have the Knight of, Pe uh, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, so there ain't no type of movement. The Knight of Pentacles, he's a slow and moving Knight out of the deck, and when he's in reverse, he definitely ain't going nowhere. He is not moving. He's barely moving being upright. He definitely ain't moving in the reverse, so there ain't nothing going on here. There's nothing going on here. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This could be a person that feels, that doesn't feel confident. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse, she could be kind of needy. They could be kind of needy, codependent. And basically, there's nothing going on here. Please get more information on the hangman. Please get more information on the hangman. Please get more information on the hangman. Please get more information on 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 hangman. Somebody's hurt. Three of swords. Somebody's hurt here. So, this queen of pentacles, somebody's got somebody here in limbo. You have the queen of pentacles in reverse. You have the knight of pentacles in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles, she's not feeling confident. She's not feeling confident. She has low self-esteem right about now. Why? Because she's hurt. That's why. There's nothing going on between the both of you guys. There's no type of movement. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening at all. There's no type of movement at all going on. They want us, This person wants a second chance with you, but there's, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. They want a second chance. You want a new beginning, either you or them want a new beginning because for you, you saw it as a toxic connection or it was a toxic connection. Being in this committed relationship, commitment, you guys, this could be, uh, this is going to, this is for, you know, you guys could have been living in the same household. You guys could have been living in the same household. You guys could even have kids together with a, with a, I mean, whether you do or you don't, either way. But this is in the same household. You guys were living in the same household. You have the you have the four of wands in reverse, the half on in reverse. You have the devil in reverse. This is an ending. You're releasing this toxic energy, but somebody still wants a second chance here. And they're miserable. But you have somebody here that's coming in, that's new, that's willing to cooperate with you. That wants a new beginning. Uh, so yeah, for so for some of you guys, for some of you guys, you guys already have a new person coming in. Either this person has already came in, or this person is about to come in. You guys already have this person. This person, you guys are gonna move forward with them because you ended it already with the person in the committed relationship that you was in. You already ended that situation with them and wherever there's an ending, there has to be a new beginning. And a new beginning, the ending was you leaving them and a new beginning is gonna be with this Knight of Cups that's coming in, that's making the offering, that wants to move forward with you, 
that's willing to cooperate with you, meet you halfway, compromise, and you guys are going out, doing things together, you know, having a good time, they're whining you and dining you, and this person feels very passionate about you, and they know you've chosen a new path. You have a new path that you're taking on now. With the two of, with the two of wands, you have a new sense of direction. <clears throat> And this person feels very passionate. They're willing to put in the work into making this, into making the relationship work. They, I mean, they see you as a two. Of, they see you as their soulmate. You see them as a soulmate as well. This person is single. You could be dealing with another Virgo here. They're single. They're very independent. They're financially stable, and you guys make each other happy. And this person's not. They're not about to miss out on this opportunity. They're not about to miss out on it. This is a this is a brand new this is stability here and they not and they don't want to miss out on it. I can't get the words out. They don't want to miss out on this opportunity at all. So they're gonna move forward and while you doing that, there's someone else here that you was with that you was in a committed relationship or in a marriage that's feeling miserable because they want to be with you. They want a second chance with you. They want a second chance with you. And they're not feeling confident, they're hurt. This person is actually hurt because you're moving on, but yet they want that second, they, they want a second chance with you. I cannot speak today for the life of me. They want a second chance with you, but you're moving on now already to someone else. You're moving on and you're happy and this person still wants to be with you, whoever this person was. Okay? So let's get your guidance message, Capricorn. Please give me a guidance message, Capricorn. Please give me a guidance message, Capricorn. Please give me a guidance message for Capricorn. Please give me a guidance message for Capricorn. Your calling. Your life purpose is like an awakening to put your gifts and talent to good use and enjoy the journey of life. Okay, so this is all I have for you guys. I will see you guys again for your weeklies. You guys take care, be safe, and uh, stay cool, Cappies. <laughs>